Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Happy new moon in Sagittarius and uh, 12, 12. Uh, so I'm about to go out for my walk, but I wanted to talk a little bit about health today. Uh, I don't know, just something that came up. So I thought, I thought I'd talk about it with everyone. And it's based on the point that I've already talked about. So I'll, I guess I'll be reiterating it here is that health is about what works for you. So being healthy is about paying attention to your own body and seeing exactly what your body needs at that moment. And I'll share my personal experience with this as to how I came to discover why your uniqueness and your individuality is so important for your personal health. So people that know me actually know them very disciplined. <laughs> I'm actually very disciplined and I'm very dedicated. It's why I've been able to be on this path for so long and actually get to where I am now is because once I know that I want something or something is important to me, I'm very dedicated to it and I'm very committed <laughs> to what it is that's important to me. So a few years ago, that's how it was for me and exercise, working out. So, you know, I really started to get on this kind of workout groove where I was, you know, I was working out, I think maybe, I think it was like four or five times a week. And I was doing, I think, cardio, just regular mild cardio at first, but then I started to do HIIT workouts, like maybe two, three times a week. And it was great for weight loss. You know, I lost a lot of weight on it. So that was good. But at the same time, I wasn't really feeling well. So it's like I was feeling good because I had lost weight, but I wasn't feeling good because I was getting migraines often. It also wasn't just the working out. It was because I was in a work environment that also wasn't conducive to good health. So that's another thing. Um, but it got to the point where my body started to basically shut down on me. <laughs> and I felt spirit like, you need to rest, like you need to stop. <laughs> You need to lay down and just relax. So I really had to pull back and really analyze what I was doing. It's like, okay, I'm so dedicated and disciplined to this working out thing, but why? Why is it so hard for me to actually rest? And why am I so dedicated to this to the point where I don't have any flexibility? That's where I started to really question my intentions and why I was working out so hard. I had to ask myself, okay, what is it that I'm trying to avoid? You know, is it like putting on weight? So I really had to look into my personal relationship with my body and what it looked like and just how my body worked in terms of like how I personally carry weight and put on weight and what causes weight gain for me and all, all that stuff. So I really had to take some time to, to look into that and see where my head was at when it came to my workout regimen because I was losing weight, but I also wasn't healthy. So it's really important to understand that it's not just about losing weight. And I'm not going to say that if you have a goal of losing weight, you shouldn't do it. Do whatever you feel called to do, but understand that all because you're losing weight, that doesn't mean that you're healthy. And all because you're at a normal healthy weight doesn't necessarily mean you're healthy. So we have to kind of get a clear sense of what health means to us. I was actually feeling into my body more recently, like within the past month or so, and I'm like, I'm healthy. <laughs> I, I could actually feel I'm like, wow, I'm healthy. Like, I may not work out the way that I used to. Like, I'm much more gentle with myself now. And that's because I listen to my body and what it needs. So most of the time I'll stretch. I'll go for a walk like I'm going to do today as a form of movement. I'll dance. A lot of my movement has to be very light, gentle, and 
it has to allow for some sort of fluidity. It has to allow me to kind of like experiment. It has to allow me to just flow. So that's where a lot of my exercise, I don't even really like to call it exercise anymore, but that's where a lot of my physical activity, that's how it has to be because that's what works for me and my body. Actually, I um, tried doing some more like, uh, I guess workouts that are more like crunches and um, I guess exercises that really strengthen the muscles but do like, you know, repetitive motion. And I was like, oh, my God, my body does not like this. And it's not because it hurt or anything. Like I could take a little <laughs> I could take a little pain and burning. It's not about that. It was more so about the fact that my body started to feel tight and rigid. And I felt like I was less in my own personal flow because of that. Even though I was doing the exercises the way I wanted to do them, because of the way the motions are, and the way that you need to do them, because there is a general structure to them, my body was not feeling it. My energy felt like it was being knocked off, you know, its equilibrium. For me, being in flow and being able to be um, flexible, you know, to be able to be soft is very important for me. And those kinds of exercises weren't working. So I'm like, okay, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. That doesn't work for me. So I say that to say this, you have to do what works for you, which means that you actually have to get really in touch with yourself and your body. And that takes time. It takes practice. But if you do it consistently, like consistently tap into what it is that you're feeling and what it is that you need, then you'll get a sense of what is right for your personal body. It's the same thing with diet. There are certain kinds of diets that work for some people and don't work for others. There are certain ways of eating, certain kinds of food that work for some people and don't work for others. Like for myself, I love smoothies. I absolutely love smoothies. My problem is, is that my digestive system does not. <laughs> my, it almost like it freezes my digestive system. So if I have a smoothie, it has to be like maybe once in a while. But smoothies work well for some people. That's the thing. They don't work for me. Uh, there are certain kinds of just ways of eating, like, that don't work for me, that work for other people. Where people can get into trouble is where they try to take on diets and exercise regimens that work for other people or are deemed to work just on a general basis, not paying attention to what their body is telling them about if it's actually doing good for their own body. So we have to be mindful of dedicating ourselves to things that actually are not in alignment with who we are and what our personal body needs. So why am I healthy? Because I pay attention to my body. I engage in movement that's right for my unique structure. I try to eat foods that my body is asking for. So I don't eat perfectly, but I do eat a lot of fruit. I try to incorporate vegetables into my diet every day because I know that's what my body likes. Uh, when I can, I like to have a lot of like natural juices that I, my body loves juices like natural fresh juice so I try to do that and if my body wants to eat something that's not super duper healthy I go with it as long as I'm not eating it all the time like that's the thing I, I could tell when my body is like okay you're doing too much and that's when I, I pull back so you have to allow yourself to kind of move with your body's guidance. And it's okay to kind of have stuff that you feel like you want, even if it's the not, not, not the most healthy thing. You just have to listen to your body. When it tells you to stop, you stop. You know, when you feel like you're getting full, do your best to stop eating when you feel full. So it's, it doesn't have to be such a structured, you know, I got to follow this diet. And on this day, I got to make sure I do this workout five, six times a week. I'm sorry, but you could really end up messing yourself up like that. <laughs> you have to pay attention to your own body. Now, another part of health is also listening to your feeling and your intuition about any other aspect of your life. 
knowing how to properly set boundaries with people, with yourself, honestly. Knowing when an environment is not healthy for you. That's another part of health. So I'm at the point now where unless I really want to do something, I don't do it. When it comes to my personal life path, I do what I feel guided to do. Even if other people don't agree. It's when you start allowing other people to push you in this direction, push you in that direction, that you enter into situations that are unhealthy for you. And that, in turn, can affect your physical health. You see how it works, (laughs) right? So I, I do feel... Like us getting in touch with the true meaning of health is uh, really important. So I wanted to talk about that today and just share it. Um, So I'm going to go out for my walk now, (laughs) explore the neighborhood a little bit, and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.